Today we'll be solving string 2 word end on codingbot.com. The question reads, given a string and a non-empty word string, return a string made of each char just before and just after every appearance of the word in the string. Ignore cases where there is no char before or after the word, and a char may be included twice if it is between two words. So let's look at the first example. So the S string str holds a, b, c, x, y, 1, 2, 3, x, y, i, j, k, and string word holds x, y. So you're just going to, so your return is going to be everything, everything that's before x, y, and everything that's after x, y. So as you can see, or just the first uh, char, my bad. So as you can see, the x, y is right here, and the one the char right before it is a C and the char right after it is a 1 and there's another XY here and the char before it is a 3 and the char right after it is a I so your answer will be C 1 3 I so that's basically the gist of this problem and we're gonna go straight into the actual coding now so we're gonna create a, a multiple variables to start off so first we're gonna uh, create an int let or uh, int s len which equals str dot length and then we're going to create another int variable called w len which is going to represent word dot length and now finally we're going to create a string variable called fin and this is going to be your result and this is what you're returning at the very end of the code and now we're going to go into our for loop. So for int i equals 0, i ha always has to be less than s len minus w len or plus 1, or else it's going to be a compilation error. And now um, we're going to create a st another string variable called temp. And it's going to be equal to, it's going to hold str.substring. I comma I plus W len and if now we're gonna go into our if statement if I is greater than zero and uh, temp dot equals word Then you're just gonna do. You're gonna add str dot substring i minus one comma i to fin. And you're gonna create another if statement if i is less than s len minus w len and temp dot equals word. Then you're gonna add str dot substring l plus or i plus w len comma i plus w len plus one. Okay, and after that, all you need to do is return fin. And everything is correct.